As time goes forward, let's just draw time going forward like that, the Einstein-Rosen bridge grows. It started with the horizons touching each other. It started, let's draw it this way. Right over here, the horizons are touching. That's what happens as you move in, you get to this point over here, that's right over here, and then you go out the other end. Okay. At that point, at time t equals zero, the Einstein-Rosen bridge is as short as it can be. As time goes forward, the horizons start to separate. The two horizons of the two black holes start to separate, and leave between them a region of space. So what does that look like? That looks like this thing starts to grow. It starts to stretch. It doesn't shrink, but it starts to stretch. If you work out Einstein's equations, you will discover that, uh, that the solution grows and grows and grows. And in fact, in going from up here to across here, it's infinitely far, way up in these corners here, way up in these corners. So as time goes forward, this Einstein-Rosen bridge grows. Its growth is one of the reasons that you have such a hard time sending a signal completely through the, the, the Einstein-Rosen bridge. You can't, and it's because as you're trying to send the signal through, it's growing. And it's growing fast. It grows basically with the speed of light.